Good morning. So first, we have to gather the equipment needed. So our equipment are electrogen, chest electrodes, alcohol swab, limb clamps, ECG machine, lead wires, print paper, and then wipes. After gathering the equipment needed, we have to perform hand washing. After performing hand washing, we have to introduce ourselves to our patient. So, good morning, sir. My name is Christopher Liliza, and I will be your nurse for today. May I know your name, sir? Okay, Sir Harvey Ignacio. So, kailan po birthday nila? December 6, 2001. Am I right, sir? Okay, if that's so, we may begin in a moment. So, first, let me introduce to you the procedure. So, for today's procedure, you are going to undergo ECG procedures wherein the electroconductivity of your heart will be tested. So, this involves touching and putting some electrodes and limb electrodes to your body. Is that okay with you, sir? Okay. So, the first step in getting the 12 ECG leads is that the proper position of your patient. So, ideally, the position of patient is in a supine position. However, there are some patients that they cannot tolerate this position. So, we can put them in a semi folded position. Okay, sir. Comfortable po ba kayo sa position niya? Okay, so comfortable naman po kayo sa semi polar position. So, the next steps is that we are going to expose the body of the patient. So, i-remove natin yung shirt niya. Then, my focus now is on the skin preparation. So, I'm going to observe the amount of hair sa chest ni patient. And then, titingnan din natin kung mayroong mga excess fluids or oils or dead skins because it may effect or interfere the adhesion of electrodes or the transmission of the signal through electrodes. So, ang gagamitin natin ngayon is the, elect um, the alcohol swab. So, um, ipapahid natin to sa kay patient dun sa nakikita natin kung mayroong oil doon, doon natin ipapahid 10 to 12 strokes. After that, let it dry. Now, we're ready to um to put the limb on the patient. So, sa paglagay ng limbs, meron tayo iba ibang color dito. So, imagine na lang na meron na tong cord, lead, lead wire. So, this is um, the limb clamp. So, bago natin ilagay kay patient, magpuput tayo ng small amount of electrogel. So, yung red is sa right arm ni patient. Yellow sa left arm ni patient. Black Sa right leg the patient. And then green. Sa left leg the patient. Now, we're done putting the limb clamps on our limb electrons to the patient. Now, pupunta na tayo at maglalagay na tayo ng chest electrodes or the precordial electrodes. So, dito... Um, the difference between the lip clamps or the lip leads and the chest leads is that yung sa lip leads, for example, nilagay mo dito yung red clamp. So, pwede mo rin ilagay dito yung red clamp. However, dun sa chest leads or the precordial leads, the place must be exact. So, first, we have to locate. To locate the V1, dun sa external notch nga sa sternum, mapapalpate natin yung second inter, um, second rib. Doon sa second rib, below non-conte is the second intercostal space. 
Then, third rib, below non conte is the third intercostal space. Fourth rib, below non conte is the fourth intercostal space. So, dun natin ilalagay yung P1. And then B2 will be put immediately on the same level of B1 to the left sternum. Next, B2, next is B4. So, B4, we're going to palpate the clavicle. So, sa clavicle na yun, mapapansin natin or mapipil na natin yung first rib. So, first rib, first intercostal space, second rib, second intercostal space, third rib, third intercostal space, fourth rib, fourth intercostal space, fifth rib, fifth intercostal space. Dito natin nalagay si B4. Now, B3 is between the B2 and B4. Next is B6. So, sa paglagay naman kay B6, by the word mid-axillary, um, ilo-locate natin yung axilla ni patient. So, sa middle ng axilla ni patient, we're just going to draw down here, and ito si B6. And then, si V5 naman is halfway between B4 and B6. Left anterior axillary link. So, tapos na tayong ilagay yung mga limb, um, mga chest electrodes. And then, ang next na ilalagay natin is yung mga lead wires. Now, we're done putting the lead wire. So, um, our next steps is that we're going to remove all the jewelries from the patients, remove all the mobile devices, and also yung belt na nakalagay kay patient because it may interfere the result of the ECG um, procedures. And then, um, i-instruct din natin si patient to relax. No cross arms, no cross legs. The body should be straight. And then, i-struck natin siya na relax lang po kayo, sir. So, okay, sir, Harvey, relax lang po kayo. Hinga po tayo ng maluwag. Breathe in, breath out. Breathe in, breath out. Okay, after we struck the patient, we're going to turn on now the ECG machine. After turning on the ECG machine, we should indicate there the name of the patient, the age of the patient, date of birth, and then the indication. After that, after a few minutes, lalabas na yung results sa ECG machine. And now, what we are going to do is that um, we're going to print out the result. Okay? Print out. Okay. So now this is the result of Sir Harvey Ignacio. So after that, um, Instruct na natin si patient na i-remove na natin yung mga electrodes sa katawan niya. Okay, sir? Alisin ko na po yung mga electrodes sa katawan niyo. Alisin ko na po yung mga limb clamps. So, pwede ko na pong ibalik yung t-shirts ni sir. Balik ko na po. After that, perform hand washing. And gathered all the document data. Thank you.